What is that chat cover there? Uh, for for we wipe our got some kind of twitch meme from my chat as well actually, but here we go Both the teams are off and they're gonna be moving on to yeah. Ken and this is of course Ken CM You, you want to tell us a little bit about Ken Ken CM bit of a bit of a troll encounter is it not? Uh, I think indeed the players have to use their special action Before the timers on their buff bar runs out Otherwise the special action key will be used randomly by the game which might throw them off the platform a very dangerous mechanic, but all you need to do is to remember to press the special action key. Yep. Other than that, he's not really difficult. Uh, uh, well, not really different. He has the, he has a, a very low 20 million HP and the same fairly simple mechanics. Just some teleport circles and deadly ranged, uh, deadly red AOEs. You do want to be a little bit concerned about those as well. And you have to stand some green circles. Although, do you think uh, our teams will be skipping some of them? Because, of course, on a CM... Uh, one thing is, if you get too many stacks by skipping too many green circles, or rather missing them, is how the de developers intended it, you can actually petrify yourself and turn yourself into a rock, okay? Obviously, not ideal, but, in theory, if you DPS hard enough, you could even skip these on the challenge mode as well. Yes, it is just a matter of making sure that you have enough damage that you wouldn't reach 99% of that debuff before killing the boss himself but looking at both teams the damage seems to be more than just present yep the dps is i think it's uh very even right now actually very very close from uh both teams indeed they are, they appear to be on roughly the same health i kind of feel like that extra mirage is paying off for derp though perhaps not exactly sure here so we see that Hollersmith is at the bottom of the DPS tables. So, that may have been a that slight That was mistake, just though. a very slight DC on my end, and actually my phone picked up the uh, the call itself. But I am back right now. They do have the debuff. I was uh, I was mildly worried from uh, looking at what uh, oh, people were saying, uh, but they do have it. Yep, yeah, uh, I, I believe it was. Was that a, a GG from, from Derp there? I'm not what, quite sure. It? Maybe it is to swap no. players faster. No. It is actually to swap the players. No, I believe that was, in fact, a, a death. I, somehow I, I didn't see that. Uh, but, yeah, uh, Derp actually did fall off there. I believe. I, I'll tell you what. Well, let's, just, let's just check the uh, instant replay, guys. Let's make sure that we, you know... I'm sure Lin will appreciate this uh, after the stream, you know, when he's when he's watching the VOD back. Let's just, um, let's just you know, make sure that we can all, we can all see exactly what happened here. Um... Here we go. It's just loading up there. Hang on. We need to go back a little bit. So, and here we have the fateful moment. I believe he forgets to press it. Oh, yeah, he goes for the res. And I think he forgets the special action hotkey. Yep, and there we go. Off he goes. Oh, there. That is exactly what happens, guys. It will force you to use the special action hotkey. Okay. Oh, of course, standard portals coming out here from uh, We Wipe on Escort and from Dirt. They really are neck and neck, aren't they? If we actually look at the position, yes. they are in the raid wing even. They are so close right now. If I am not mistaken, Derp was just slightly faster on uh, the first encounter, but looking at we, they are just five, ten seconds behind, not even. Uh, and a it's portal much. gets them much faster to the shovel. Yep. They already have it, and our Derp are already ready to get into the wow. next encounter room. Yeah, but actually, if you if you look, if you look at the timer, it, it's really really close actually. Uh, for yep. for both teams, I mean, I think they're they're going to start the fight at pretty much the exact same time. Just a bit of precasting going down, and at three fifty five, uh, Derp starts at about three again, about three fifty five, three fifty four. Uh, uh, we starts. There, there's mere seconds in this run, guys. Indeed, very close matches are exactly what we are looking for in this. The encounter being very straightforward here, and uh, if you remember from the previous week, all you have to do is watch out for your DPS, as you do not want the blue AoEs that you need to stand on, and the spikes to get on top of each other. Yeah, so what, what's going on with this mechanic is, guys, every player will actually get a blue square light. I mean, this is client side, guys, so some of these tiles will light up blue, and some of them light up with spikes. If the spikes and the blues align at the same time, you will get wrecked, because the difference is, the spikes, as you might expect, you don't want to be in them, but the blue, you must be in, otherwise, you will die instantly. And, what makes it even more awkward, is, as I said, guys, those are client side. Oh, a little bit dodgy there for Derp. Ooh, it's gonna be tight. Yeah, this is a very close one. Ooh, and just, they yeah. made it. Oh, boy. Yeah, they get away with it. 
DPS. Actually, the same for we. They are so close to each other. We being just a little bit faster on the damage, if I am not mistaken. Maybe a tiny bit, but I, I honestly, I wouldn't even really want to call that. Uh, it is staggeringly it is close. Difference. <gasps> Wow. What, what do you make of the druid running uh, in being in a separate subgroup for for we wipe on escort here? What, what's what's going on? I'm not quite there? sure what they're up. No, I'm not quite sure what they're up to with this. To be fair, I would have just placed the druid in a oh a death for we. Ooh, but which class yeah, was that? Yeah, I I think that was a deep. That's a chrono. That's, a chrono. That's a chrono. Oh my Wait, god. Wait, that wasn't claim, was it? Wait, was that claim? It was claim. It was claim. They're forced oh. to go for claim. And I think we wipe on Escort! That's a disaster! Oh this, Wait, he failed Claim as well! Claim did not work! This is a very, very bad situation! Use the they use the spirit and recover no. and three, four more! Oh rounds. no! They fully oh, wipe, guys! They have to GG! But there they is, there is one death for Derp! Uh, but yes. that, that's not gonna wipe them! I think Derp should be able no. to, to finish this! I believe they still have Protect, so even if they do have a bad set of spikes, uh, and... They um, should be fine, yes. Yeah, they should be if okay. If the blue and the spikes align, they can still negate it, provided that everyone stands on blues close enough from each other. We wipe but on they MO. They look to be completely fine. <laughs> they wipe on MO! Oh my god! <laughs> You'll rename? They can still contact support for that stuff? Yeah, nice oh, me. Derp having blues on the spikes? Oh, never mind. Well, no, they had that protect. Fine. Just the, yeah. for the safety there. And Derp, they're going to finish off this boss very good, quickly. Yeah. They're going to move on to Samarog in just a few moments. We has started ammo again and are already burning it down really fast. They are not giving it a chance. Their damage is actually probably better than Derp's. Yeah, but it, it is. I think they didn't have the DPS edge there, but you know what they didn't have, Sam? The being alive edge, okay? They all yes. died, and that, that, I mean, that Chrono is going to, well, I mean, I, he, I guess he was a slightly out of position, not quite able to get to that blue tile in time. Well, maybe the spikes got him. It's, it's really hard to say, uh, but, you know, a big mistake there for WE, and they're going to, well, they're going to have to, they've got a lot to make up here, and realistically, uh, Derp Samrog needs to go very badly wrong if uh, they want to, if they want to get back in this. So Derp is just starting Summerog as the Wii team just burnt Mo at 50%. So they're about 40 seconds behind and then still have to go through the cutscene and starting the Summerog encounter. We might just see Derp having a full phase advance yeah. on Wii. I think that might be the case, and we see mass thieves as well. That is exactly what you want to see in terms of DPS, right? Uh, for Samron, those mass daredevils. And look at this! Look at this! Is such a cute strat. Do you see this shit, Sam? Yes, they are moving the spears to another spot as soon as they are targeted because of the mobility on the daredevil. Yeah, what they're doing here is they're simply using Star 5, which is kind of a weird gimmicky ability, which will, uh, it's almost like a blink, right? It will, it will move you no matter what, and that will actually move the spear. This allows him to stay exactly in the middle, doing big damage. Oh, they actually get knocked, but the spear also just leaps away there. And that is why we see the uh, blink on the Mesmer here as well, because he can just blink away with the spear too. down for Derp, he actually could not get that movement. But since he's a thief, he can just use his downstate skill number 2 and place himself completely out of the range of any spear. Which makes Daredevil the superior class for this encounter. Absolutely. As you have already pointed out. Yes, it is a very, very fine choice. We see the Daredevil is leaping away there. Oh, leaping into yes. another. Oh, into another spear, though. But he can so, still move with his yeah, downstairs. Yeah, he can just port, this is port, just yeah. fine. Wow. And we has just killed MO and is moving on to open the door to Samarog, which has just been opened right now. And they are setting up to start the encounter. As expected, Derp has a full phase advance on them. Well, there you go. A very, very cute strategy from uh, from Derp. You got to hand it to him. I mean, WE. They're now going to be moving on to uh, Samrong as well. But <coughs> they are thirty three percent behind. Yeah, WE. <laughs> Bless you, Teapot. WE running a very similar comp. However, as we can already see, they are actually. What is that? Is that a mirror? Short power chrono? I am not quite sure. But they have the Daredevils as well. Well, Daredevil is one hell of a drug. Those big DPS staff numbers, those are what you want to see when you're when you're doing raids in Guild Wars 2, guys. Uh, and, well, looks like Derp is... Ha they have no intention of wiping, though, and that is going to be a problem for, uh, for WE. I mean, of course, Demos is arguably one of the more, you know, slightly iffy bosses, right? Things can go very wrong very quickly, right, on the Demos mm -hmm. CM. And we'll be talking about that in just a moment, guys.
And you can see on the dub POV the Chrono doing the job of God by moving the banners closer to the squad. What a lad. Well, that is because, of course, uh, Lin is a, is a warrior main, so he knows the struggle, right? Look at that blink. Look at that blink. Wow, this is so good. The movement on Dub Steam is very, very fluid. You can see that they really practiced these encounters. Yeah. Meanwhile, we is just a few percent short of phasing. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, well, you know what? You know what is kind of interesting though. Uh, we, I believe, we actually see a um, a heal necro for Derp as well. Ooh, a first death oh, on the Wii no. team hit by the wave yeah, as he came back and fully but knocked. Just, but this is just a DPS player. They still have both chronos. They have their druid. They are fine. Yeah, that's not what you want. Those spears are extremely dangerous, right? Like if you get knocked into those, it might well. And guess what, guys? Samrog has a lot of knockback attacks. Funny that, isn't it? Uh, if you get knocked into those spears, they will impale you. They will penetrate you. They will insta-kill you guys, okay? But Derp, already on the second split phase. Or rather, uh, yeah, yeah, approaching the second split phase. So they're getting some serious work done. The heal necro, though, makes this so stable for them, Sam. It makes it so stable. Indeed, they have enough barrier to even take a few hits and not even flinch. You can see that one of the Daredevils was knocked into a spear, but since he has the barrier, he didn't care, and yeah. he just came back without any issues. Well, even if he was to downsite, what would traditionally be quite an annoying resurrection, right? Um, the, you know, having to uh, ha having to like go into this da damaging field, right? It's very hard to res there. Uh, they can simply transfuse Indeed. him out. Very, very easy recovery is there uh, for for our derp team. Yeah, they are playing the safest comp ever, as we have already pointed out with the Daredevils and now the Scourge. Meanwhile, we is still doing fine on their own end. They do not appear to have had any other problem uh, with one DPS death. Can they afford to have that low that DPS loss though? Right? I mean, can they afford I that? I mean, they their DPS was arguably better than Derp's. They, they were slightly ahead on the encounters when it came to pure numbers. So I would say that losing one DPS, as long as they do not fully wipe on the encounter, would not give them too much of a disadvantage against Derp. That is, of course, assuming that Derp would be having some issues on Demos, but we will only know that if they kill Samurai. Absolutely. I mean, they should be able to do that quite handily. Oh, that spear, though. Lin not having his blink up. The Mesmer not having that Whoa, blink. Oh, he managed, but he takes he the Scourge to... Portal. Wow, look at that. Wow. Just in the nick of time there, actually. Able to Scourge Portal that spear away from the boss there. Another really nice piece of utility, actually, uh, from that heal necro. Yeah. Pretty fucking pog stuff, boys, okay? Uh, you know, it is bringing, bringing the strats, right? Bringing the strats, man. Really bringing some, uh, the 150 IQ strategies uh, coming out of uh, the Inglorious Derps here. And they're gonna, I mean, they've had no problems with this so far. They are destroying. Uh, they are destroying Samrog right now. He's got pretty much no hope of surviving this. And just a final break bar. Uh, you know, honestly, one thing that um, they, uh, they're they not doing right now, which I think they should do, is, is relog already to the hand kiter, right? I believe they could already be doing that, but they know that they have a sizable advance and would probably be playing it relatively safe because you never know what might happen. And just yeah, making sure that you have the members is not a problem for them. No. Oh, but there we go. We do. We see those relogs there. I mean, they, they certainly could have been a little bit more aggressive. But honestly, they've got time to kill. Really, they have. They can. They can relax a bit. Um, mm. Oh, I believe that's going to be a soul beast hand kind of there as well. Actually, uh, judging by that. Mm. I think. Indeed, it appears so. Yeah, this is this is a. Uh, I I actually don't mind this decision uh, because of course you can't yeah. heal Saul, right? You can't heal Saul on CM, so the the healing capabilities of the Revenant are nullified a little bit, and of course the Soul Beast is an extremely safe hand cutter, right, guys? Very very safe yeah. indeed. The amount of ways you can fully involve yourself from the uh, damage that Demos does is more than present on the Soul Beast. And Derp has already started their Demos encounter. They just went in immediately. Yeah. Going straight in there. I, they're going to probably or almost certainly attempt to one burn all of these uh, all of these little chains all instantaneously to start the encounter as quickly as possible. Oh but... my god! The Wii team has lost two more players, oh, including no. a Chrono. Oh, that, damn. No, I think they're done. I think they might have to GG this encounter. 
Ah, oh, they, they can probably they have, actually. They still have seven players. They can make it. They're on the last. This phase. is the last one phase. Yeah. This is the last Ooh, one phase. Very quick uh, burn there actually by uh, by Derp. They're instantly on the encounter. Now, what's that different on CM guys? So normally on Demos, Saul actually gives you a bit of a helping hand. Okay, he's gonna make uh, Demos take some more damage. Mm -hmm. He's gonna give you a nice barrier to shield you from Demos's lethal attack, and he'll put down some banners to uh, to defend your hand, kind of right. But that is. That isn't going to happen, unfortunately. In CM, no. And not only that, but you also have to make sure that he does not get deleted by the prize in the last phase. This is more effort for the team than in normal mode. Yeah, it, it is just, it's more of a, it's just a very, a bit more of a strict mechanics check, right? Uh, some of the stuff on normal mode that doesn't really matter, like there's little ads going in, little prides that do damage to Saul, because you can just heal him up again, it's not really the biggest of deals. But in this case, it is a massive deal. Yeah. Of course, it's a huge, huge problem because if you uh, if they get in, Saul can die because you cannot heal structures in Guild Wars 2, guys, and that is exactly what Saul is in this instance. Indeed, they already have done the first port on the uh, derp stream and they are coming right back up. Meanwhile, we is reaching the last CC in just a few percent. Ah, uh, they've lost so much time though. Losing those DPS players in the Chrono is, has just slowed everything down to an absolute crawl and, and Derp are so far ahead right now. They are just absolutely steamrolling this Wing 4. This is an awesome Wing 4 from the Derp team. Especially with CMs. They, very commendable. Very, very commendable, actually. You can see that they are very solid. As, as we pointed out earlier, they are just going for something that is safe yet efficient, which is exactly what you want to see in the ARP and more specifically into this wing. You do not have any second chances. Th this is really, this is, again, lovely little min max of a strat here. What they're doing here is Derp are actually barely moving the boss here because they know that they don't have to worry about black placements in this phase because they can get it to 50% very, very quickly. So the boss has not even really moved at all here, actually. Oh, they do get oh knocked over. They do get knocked over, but they Ooh, manage to all get onto the green. This was very close. This was definitely way too close. Yeah. Meanwhile, we is preparing the CM. They have activated it, and they are already gliding on the platform. They would be able to catch up, provided that they're white, but that doesn't seem to be likely. Yeah, I, I mean, they, they have shown no signs of stopping here, really, at all. They're just going, it's full steam ahead for Derp. They're, they'll almost certainly be doing uh, that uh, the sacrifice strat, where instead of going into that last green circle, you've seen the teams go up, uh, well, yeah, go into hell to fight one of Saul's bad habits. That is not going to be happening. Um, what they're going to do is they're going to send one player all on his own to kind of run around in circles a little bit uh, while they finish burning the boss to 10% to trigger the last phase. Boy, uh, wait, what? We they went to pick the tears. Oh, wait, we, what? We, we went on Escort Insta-Fed. Um, yeah, wait, they, just it, they GG'd Oops. before um, they even started. I do not understand this. Was it a cooldown issue, maybe? I am not, not exactly players? certain what I happened there. I am not quite sure either. But they are starting the encounter right now. They still are way behind us. Yeah, I mean, I mean uh, Demos is nearly dead. At this point, right? Yeah. Like, Demos is nearly dead. Uh, just for reference, though, guys, those uh, black circles that you see uh, flashing there, what they do is they spawn on the uh, s this closest non-tank player. So it is actually very easy to manipulate the spawn of these. And that is exa one thing that is so important to pick up on here, guys, I think, is that Derp is actually manipulating the spawn of those AoEs. They Wait, are they are actually oh. going together. They are playing oh. this the safest way. Okay. They are all going down and just taking no chances. Yep. Fair, you know, fair. Who was meant to be ported? Uh, actually, I think it was one of the DPS players, but they are just playing it completely safe. Yep, that, that's I mean, yeah. Once that? again, absolutely acceptable. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, just going to be yeah. playing a little bit safe. So now the soul is down there as well. This is a much less riskier strategy, of course, uh, but it is a little bit slower. They need to make sure that they break that soul. Oh, as he will teleport, then they do oh, get a teleport. Oh, they do have a down. Are they able I to get that res? I believe that they have the possibility to get that res. Lin no, they don't get it, unfortunately. Yeah. Lin attempted to pick up the tier, but sadly he already has the debuff. He's moving Demos to the preferred tanking spot, and they are still doing everything just fine. Soul has been killed. They are on to oh, the two last dead, though. on Demos. 
Too dead for mm. dub. I, I don't. I, mean, th I think they should be fine. There is no soul alive. Yeah. They were able to kill the soul. So they lost. Hmm, they lost a chrono though, I believe. Oh, so one, they, yeah, they to may, if he, if he, if he, yeah, if he, he signature, he needs to signature the Aegis. Yeah, he actually does do it. Only one player. He uh, actually manages to. Yeah, this still looks pretty fine. Yeah, it should be okay. Uh, I, I, oh, a few downsides though. Bit of instability from Derp. Ooh, they are losing a third player. Are they going to lose a fourth player? Or I, 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 even if they lose the a fourth, I, it shouldn't no, be a it's, problem. It is, it is actually still fine. A pride walking into our soul, soul who is yeah. very low on health. They are focusing the pride. Definitely, they have. To. Yeah, they're they're going on it. They have players assigned to it. They have the Jacaranda, the Mesmer mobilizing as well. I I don't see any uh, real problems here. They still uh, have an Aegis to share, and it appears to be fine still. They're going to be taking Demos into the last phase in just a few seconds. Meanwhile, we has come back from their first phase in Hell and are still DPSing Demos just fine, almost bringing it to fifty percent. Oh, there's the ten percent. There's the ten uh, percent uh, for. Uh, Derp. So they're going on to the hell phase now where they have to find a giant Demos. And, well, <coughs> it's pretty... Um, I don't think oh, we're going to see a wipe here. I, I don't want to call... I don't want to say there's no way we're going to see a wipe here because otherwise, trust me, if they wipe now, Lynn's going to rip my head off, okay? And I, I don't want yeah. that. Uh, but no, you wouldn't. There, there's pretty much no way they can fail here uh, at this point. Yeah. Meanwhile, we see that we is actually playing quite. I believe that they, yeah, they, they are actually playing full reapers. I mean, full scourges. Scourges. So, so yeah, th this is I, a, I was not paying that much attention, but that's a pretty peculiar strat. They don't have to care about the prides at all. No ad will make its way towards soul. Yeah, it's it's a very very safe strat. Uh, you don't have to worry about those prides uh, at all, and it's obviously a very solid DPS as well. You have some potential for epidemic bouncing here as well from uh, we wipe on escort. But I mean, uh, well, unless they actually hack, they're not getting this one because Derp is about to finish off the boss in just a few moments. Uh, the last few slivers few of hit points. Yes, the, I believe that there is no way that Derp could possibly fail it right now because they only have one percent to push through before finishing this, and they still have their seven players. And there you and have it, guys. And it's over! Dirk that has was, it! Yep, yeah, that's it. I mean, we, we've been having some... I, I think I'm a little bit ahead of you, Sam, because uh, Dirk already yeah, killed it for me. Yeah, you're a little bit ahead, uh, yeah. So yeah, it's a really weird, um, weird commentary there, but congratulations to Derp. A, well, I mean, honestly, uh, uh, their Demos went a little bit wrong. I, I'm not sure exactly what happened there. I think it was a, a few issues with, with perhaps with that knockback really... Uh, I think it over. was a knockback into the hands, like the first yeah, person yeah. that yeah. was because of that, and then they couldn't pick up the rest, and then another person got knocked into it, Actually, another two, and only one of them could be salvaged. So that's how they lost the first two players. Yeah, I wouldn't like. We could check a replay, maybe, but I, I believe that's the way it happened. Yeah, I think that is that is how it went down. And yeah, Derp are gonna be advancing onwards, guys. They will move on to actually face Salt. So, sorry, Derp. That's where you know this is where your journey ends. You have no hope against the glorious Mystic builds. But yeah, a very a fantastic. Uh, Wing 4 Challenge Mode Edition uh, coming out of Derp there. Really, really good stuff by them. Uh, very impressive. Uh, perhaps if they if they get it again at some point, uh, but, you know, uh, they, they'll be able to uh, demonstrate that they can also nail down that um, uh, that Demos kill as well. Because that was the only sure. thing that really went wrong for them, though. Yeah, I believe that uh, they should be able to show us some pretty good performance if they get it again, because that was more than unfortunate on their end. Meanwhile, we is still doing demos. They have reached the last phase. They are being ported into hell. Yep. And they will be able to clean this boss up momentarily. They did go for the sacrifice strat. So you can see Saul. He's still happy running around in circles doing his thing. Uh, but he is not too much of a threat for uh, we wipe on Actually, escort. if anything, I believe that they wanted to play with that sacrifice because he is a way to epidemic. They can bounce. Yep. Wait, skill cookie epidemic there. Uh, but interesting. But, uh, this, yeah. is, this is quality gameplay, Teapot. Yeah. But, but yeah, yeah, definitely. The, the sacrifice was for the epitome. Just look at this. They are melting Ooh. both the Demos and Soul at, at an incredible time. pace. They, they definitely would have had the upper hand were it not for that Mo wipe. And yeah, yeah. players on summer. Look at how fast they are wow, going. Wow, that would that wow. would it's dead. That would have yeah. That, to be honest with you guys, if 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 we wipe on escort hadn't died on Mercer overseer and then um, had a very very poor Samrog, I believe they would have actually won there. They would have actually had a faster clear there. But you got to be in it to win it, and you've got to be alive uh, if you want to if you want to win here. And that is going to be a defeat 
uh, for We Won't Bon Escort and a glorious victory for Derb, who will move on. But We Won't Bon Escort, they, um, you know, it's not over for them. They will, they descend to the lower bracket and they will actually play against the Scions of Undying Light in the last match of today, guys, in fact. For a chance to get back into the winner's bracket. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, I mean, if uh, yeah, it, basically, if, if WE didn't keep failing, they would have won. I mean, yeah, pretty much. Like they they had, certainly had very efficient strategies there. But efficient strategies are one thing, but feeding the bosses are another thing entirely. And you can't have both of those guys. You really can't. Uh, and I believe we're getting our you know 